What's up YouTube? Welcome to .NET Mo. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to use jQuery Date Picker in ASP.NET MVC. Before starting this video tutorial, I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please thumbs up this video. And for more awesome videos like this, please be subscribe to this channel .NET Mo. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we have to create an ASP.NET MVC application. For that, click on New Project here. Then select web under Visual C Sharp, then select SP.NET Web Application. Here we need to name our project. I will name it as jQuery Date Picker in MVC. Select the location where you want to save this application, then click on OK. Select MVC template, then keep other options as it is, then click on OK. So here we have a brand new ASP.NET MVC application. First of all, I am going to add MVC controller. For that, right click on controllers, then add controller. I will select MVC5 controller empty, then click on add. I will name this controller as date picker controller. Click on add. So here we have the date picker controller. Inside that, you can see default index action. Now we need to add model class for this application. For that, right click on models, then add class i will name this class as date picker model click on add inside this model class i am going to add a property of the type date time property name will be dtm date now back to date picker controller now i am going to add a view for this index action right click here then add view keep the view name as it is index then select empty template then i will check the layout page click on add so here we have the index view for this view we will be using this layout page underscore layout dot css html this will be the default layout page in mvc application let me increase the zoom level of this editor so that you can see what i am typing here First of all, we have to declare a model class for this view, add model. Now let me copy this namespace from here and paste in here, dot date picker model. Let me get rid of this h2 header from here. Instead of that, I am going to add HTML form for that. Add using statement as a resource, we will use the HTML dot begin form method. So this will add a form tag. Inside the form we have to add a text box. For that we have to do this at HTML dot editor for model such that model dot DTM date. Now we have to add few HTML attributes into this text box. For that we can do this new HTML attributes is equal to new at class is equal to date picker. In order to work this way of assigning HTML attributes into text boxes using editor for method, you have to update your MVC version to MVC 5.1 or latest versions. For that, you can Select the project, then go to Tools, then Library Package Manager Console, then Package Manager Console. Then use the NuGet command for update operation like this. I have given this NuGet command in video description. Copy, paste here, then click Enter. It will update your application into MVC 5.1. Do this update operation if you have an MVC version which is less than MVC 5.1. You can check your MVC version like this. Go to references, then look for system.web.mvc. Right click on it, then properties. There you should see the version. Now let me run this application. For that, hold control, then press F5. So this is how the index view of date picker controller looks like. Now we need to add a line break before this text box in order to see the complete controller. So I will do this. Let me add a BR element here. Let me save this and reload this page. So here we can see the complete text box. If you if you inspect this controller, you should see the class date picker 
that we have added here. We will use this CSS class in order to activate jQuery date picker into this text box. Now it's time to install jQuery UI plugin into this MVC application. There are two methods. One is using a new get packages and another one is download and install the plugin from official website jQueryUI.com. If you are going with a new get packages, right click on project, then click on manage a new get packages, then search for jQuery UI here. So here we have the package for jQuery UI. In this package, it includes base theme. If you want to select a different theme, you can go to the official website. Go to the website jQueryUI.com. Then click on download. Scroll down to bottom area. There you should see a drop down to select a theme. By default, it will be base theme. Other than that, there are a plenty of themes. If you want to see a preview of these themes, you can go to the link themes here. Then click on this gallery here. There you can see all of the themes available in the plugin. If you click on these themes, you can see the theme preview in the right side. Select any one of these themes and select the item from this drop down. Then click on download. It will download the CSS and JavaScript file for the plugin. And you can include the files inside this application. For now, I'm going to use this in you get packages. Click on install now. Installation is successful. Let me close this package manager. Now we need to add style sheet and JavaScript reference for the plugin inside this view. For that, let me expand this content folder here, then themes folder, then base folder. Inside that, there you should see a style sheet jQuery UI min.css. Let me track here. Now we need to add the script files. For that, I'm going to use this section scripts inside the layout page. So we can start like this add section scripts. Inside that, I will add the plugin JavaScript file. For that, expand scripts folder. Then drag jQuery UI min.js here. Now we need to add few JavaScript codes. For that, I will add the tag script script. Inside that, I will write the code inside the jQuery roti function. For that, we can do this function. Now we need to activate jQuery date picker for this text box with class date picker. For that, let me copy this class name from here and we can do this. Then call the function date picker. That's it. Let me save this and we need to run this application for that whole control then press F5. So this is how the index view looks like. Now if you click on this text box, you should see the date picker here. So here we have done a basic initialization for the jQuery date picker plugin. Now we will add one feature at a time. First of all, I will add date format into the plugin. For that, we can add date format option here. Date format is equal to yy-mm-dd. Let me save this and reload this page here. Now, if I select a date from this plugin, you can see that this date follows the date format that we have given here. If I replace this hyphen with a forward slash, saving and reloading this page if i select one date here you can see that date format is changed like this there are a plenty of options available in the jquery date picker plugin all of the options are listed inside this website here and i have given this link in video description you can go through that if you so want to change month you can use the previous and next button here in order to make the process more easier, I'm going to replace this month and year label with a drop down. So it will make the process more easier. Let's look how we can do that. For that, I'm going to add two options here. Change month is equal to true. So this will replace the month label with a drop down. Next, we will add a drop down for year. Change year 
is equal to true. Let me save this and reload this page here. Now if you check the plugin you can see that month label is replaced with 12 months then year label is replaced with year drop down. In most of the case you may not need this much year so we want to limit the year in this drop down for that for that I'm going to add a new option here year range is equal to 2010 to 2020 let me save this and reload this page here so here you can see that only years from 2010 to 2020 is listed sometimes you may need to specify the year range in a different way like this minus 10 then plus 10 so this will list so this will list all of the years from past 10 year and coming next year let me save this and reload this page here now if you check the plugin you can see that currently it is 2017 so it is listing year from 2007 to 2027 next we will check how we can disable dates outside a given range for that we will use the uh, options min date and max date min date is equal to new date first first parameter will be year then month month will start from 0 then up to 11 0 then date it will be 1 then I will uh, set the max date here for so that let, I can do this max date max date 2018 let me save this and reload this page here now you can't select a date that is not inside the uh, range mean date and max date now let's add a button next to this uh, text box here to select a date from this plugin. For that, for that we can add the option show on is equal to both. Show on is equal to both. Let me save this and reload this page here. So here you can see a button to select a date from this uh, plugin okay now you can change this button text using the option button text button text is equal to select let me save this and reload this page here if you click on this button you should see the uh, date picker plugin now I am going to replace this button text with a phone awesome icon for that I am going to add a style sheet reference for phone awesome here let me paste the link here so I am going to change this button text with a icon from phone awesome using i tag class is equal to far space for calendar Let me save this and reload this page here. So here you can see the phone awesome icon calendar. If you click on that you can see the date picker here. That's it guys. In this video we have discussed how to use jQuery date picker in ASP.NET MVC using Razor. If you found this video tutorial helpful please thumbs up this video and for more awesome videos like this please be subscribed to this channel.NET more. You can download this project source code from the link given below in video description. Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this. Have a nice day. Bye.